calculating circle perimeter. Now, different shapes uh, or different objects have circular shapes. Or if you look at the top of this glass, okay, the shape is circular. So if you want to find the perimeter of a circle or circular shape, a uh, circle perimeter has got a word which is called circumference. Circle perimeter is same as calling, saying circumference. Now what is circumference? Circumference is the distance around the circle. F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E. Hopefully I've corrected it right. So this distance around the circle is called circumference. Or suppose here this is a twink and you want to find the circumference of this cap. So you, this is the total distance around the circle. Now this is a cocaine or a, so here let me use a different color. So here the distance around this coke container is called the circumference or the circle perimeter. Now there's a formula uh, which, so let's, talk about the circle first. Now a circle has got uh, the distance from the center, so this is the center of the circle, and this distance from the center to any point on the circle is called the radius. So let's call, uh, use the letter R for radius. Radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. So if you draw a ray like this, or if you join this, this is also a radius so this is also r so any distance you you join the center of the circle to any point in the circle that distance is called the radius and what's a diameter diameter is the distance from one point of the circle to another point through the center is called the diameter so let's use the letter d the diameter is a distance from one point to the other point through the center. So let me draw one more diameter. So you can draw a diameter like this. This is also a diameter. The distance from one point to the other through the center is called diameter. And the distance around the circle is called circumference. Okay, so these are the three things you need to remember. Radius, diameter, and circumference. And hopefully you can see the distance from this point to this point is radius. Okay, and the distance from this point to this point is also radius. So you can say the diameter is two times radius. Or radius plus radius, two times radius. Or you can also say diameter is r plus r. Radius plus radius gives you the diameter. And radius plus radius is same as writing two times r. Okay, now there's a formula we, and uh, this has been found centuries ago by mathematicians in uh, Babylon and also in Greek. Okay, so they came up with a letter, so pi is a Greek letter. This is also there if you are using a scientific calculator or a graphic calculator, you have this letter on a calculator. I'll show that later. So the formula of a circle, sorry formula to find the circumference of a circle, so let's use the letter C for circumference, is pi times pi times diameter. Now what is pi? Pi is a Greek letter, but it has a value. The value of pi is 3.14 up to 3 d, up to 2 dp. So this is up to two decimal places. So let me show this on a calculator. So if you have <laughs> This is a graphic calculator, so if you, if you go to run and there is a key on the bottom, bottom end, this, let me show this, yeah, so this, if you press shift and this pi key, and if you press enter, this is pi, which is a Greek letter, has a value of 3.14. One five. Now this number is a magical number. This go number goes on to infinity. This number never repeats, uh, and uh, this is a, an amazing number, which is 3.14159264. This is up to nine decimal places, but in fact this goes up to infinity. Okay, so let us come back.
to the formula so circumference is pi times diameter just remember this formula so if you don't have a form uh, if you don't have a calculator you can use you instead of uh, pi you can also say this is approximately circumference is 3 times the diameter is approximately 3 point if you want to round it to the whole number this is 3 times the diameter so let's do without a calculator and then with use a calculator so here the diameter is given to be 4 centimeters so here you can say circumference if you don't want to use pi it is 3 times diameter this is an approximation so well this is 3 times 4 3 times 4 centimeters so it is approximately 12 centimeters but if you want to get the exact value and if you want to use a calculator this is how you use it so you go to get a calculator and type in so let me show you this so enter so exit so shift pi times 4 equals 12.57 if you want to round it to two decimal places so here the question was correct to two decimal places so the calculator gives me 12.566 so look at the third decimal place and you have to round the second decimal place up by one so if you want to round it to two decimal places it is 12.57 so this is how you write 12.57 centimeters and you write in the bracket two two decimal places dp like this two dp so let me write this better so you write two dp D dp stands for decimal places okay okay so let's do the next question here the sec here the radius the radius is given to be six centimeters now diameter is double the radius so the diameter is 12 centimeters so let's do without a calculator approximate it so we know circumference is three times the diameter which is three times 12 centimeters so three times 12 is 36 so if you are if you don't have a calculator this is a good approximation but if you want to round it to two decimal places we need a calculator so you go shift pi times 12 and you want to round it to 2 dp so this is 699 so look don't look at the numbers after the third decimal place so you got 699 so if you want to round it to two decimal places you write 37.70 okay so this is 37 point seven zero you have to write the zero because you're rounding it to the two decimal places so you have to write two six now you may wonder how did they write seven zero so let me show you the calculator again so what you do is basically you look at the third decimal place and if it is five six if it is five six seven eight or nine you increase the second number or the second decimal place by one so if you increase that by one 69 will increase to 70 and that's how I wrote 70 okay and one more question so this is a word problem a bicycle wheel has a diameter of 63 centimeters so let me draw a circle so this is a circle and you got a diameter so this is the diameter so this is the center so let's say this is the center this is the center and this is the diameter so the D the diameter is 63 centimeters what's the circumference of the wheel nearest to the nearest meter so first cha let's change this into meters so 63 centimeters is how many meters one meter is 100 centimeter so this will be 63 divided by 100 which is 0 0.63 meters 
okay 63 so if you want to change this into meters you go 63 divided by 100 meters and that's how I got you can use a calculator so this is a 63 divided by 100 which is 0 0.63 meters and now you just apply the formula circumference is pi times diameter so which is pi times pi times 0 0.63 so let's use the calculator because we want to round it to the nearest meter. So shift pi times 0 0.63. You want to round it to the nearest meter, so it's 1.97, which is rounding to the nearest meter, it's 2 meters. So this is circumference is 2 meters, uh, nearest meter. We are rounding it to the nearest meter m for meter.